Hello and welcome along to another movie vodcast here on TV Yorkshire. I'm Darren Harper and as ever in the studio with me is the very lovely Katricia Euphigenia Eloise Ma. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm going on holiday. I'm exceptional. You're excited. Yeah, I'm very, very excited indeed. So <laughs> I, I, I can't wait. So uh, you'll be missing me next week, of course. We will. We will. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that I think she will. Uh, we've got plenty to come. We've got some Star Wars news coming up very shortly. Some very interesting Star Wars news for you. Uh, we'll uh, pick out a TV movie of the week. Kat's been to see a film uh, called The Room, or just Room. Room. Just Room. Uh, we'll find out about that. But let's start with some news. I'm going to start with uh, this. This is possibly the greatest casting ever. Okay, there's a brand new film about Stan and Ollie, uh, Laurel and Hardy, and they've cast... Steve Coogan mm. and John C. Riley. That is ultimate Where casting. Where are Laurel and Hardy from? Uh, uh, well, I think Stan Laurel is from uh, America and Oliver Hardy is from uh, England. Uh, Does that make more sense now? Yeah. yeah. yeah? yeah. So it, Steve Coogan doesn't have to do an, an American accent. I thought that John C. Riley would have to do an English accent. No, I think he was American. I think he was American, but uh, I think uh, uh, yeah, Stan Laurel was uh, was uh, was uh, was English. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this. I think this could be quite good. I just think it's ultimate casting. Uh, Steve Coogan and John C. Riley. They look. You just know they're going to look exactly like them. And this is going to be great. So uh, it's been developed by BBC Films. Uh, Stan Onoli boasts a script by Philomena's Jeff Pope, uh, who's also working as producer and secured the rights to work uh, on the uh, work of Lauren Hardy. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I think that we go. I love Lauren and Hardy. It's so. just a life behind the laughter. Yes, exactly. Uh, and it's all about when they came, sort of came back together um, uh, in the sort of like twilight years of their uh, uh, comedy, which was about 1953. They did a, a uh, and it's all about that and it got a bit dark and uh, not a great relationship between the two so yeah it could be really really interesting so quite excited about that what news have you got Katricia okay well we've been talking about it a little bit recently mm. Avatar 2 Smurfs the Smurfs Pocahontas go yeah. blue yeah <laughs> um, so it was going to be released this year Christmas this year okay but it's been pushed back to 2017 I think it's been pushed back again and they don't know until when because he's doing like three at once as well, isn't he? I'm thinking maybe there might be something to do with the technology. I mean, the first one took so long to make yeah. because there was specific technology. And the reason it did so well at the box office was because the 3D was immense. So maybe he's working with another brand new technology. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. He's not going to. Uh, there must be a reason why he's done that. Yeah. I, I would think. Um, but uh, of course, uh, Avatar, the biggest movie of all time, still not Star Wars. Hasn't taken still it. at the moment, two point seven billion, and Star Wars: Force Awakens is around about the one point nine two billion mark at the moment. Pocket change. It is just pocket change at the moment. Uh, but speaking of Star Wars, it's time for Star Wars news. Yes, welcome back. It is time for your weekly dose of everything Jedi. Yes, it's your Star Wars news and uh, some, well, disappointing news. Oh, no. Because uh, although we know in this December we're going to be getting uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, a Star Wars story, uh, which I'm very, very excited about. And then we were only going to have to wait six months for Star Wars Episode Eight. Uh, which we still don't know the title of yet. Is it chronological order, or are we going back and forth and back and forth? For which one? For all of them. Well, no, because the Star Wars one we're getting this year, yeah. Rogue Squadron, is yeah. a spin-off. So that's a story about how they got the Death Star plans that they then got in uh, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, which was the first film in production in '77. So it's how those Death Star plans were stolen. That's what that story is about. And then Episode Eight is leading on from The Force Awakens. Right, okay. okay. I'm up to date, I'm up to date. You're up to date, okay. Uh, so, but the, the news out this week is that Star Wars Episode Eight has now been delayed. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's uh, December 15th, 2017. So we're, it, basically they've put it back about six months. What that means, I mean, that they've got problems with script or is there a little few dramas? No, I don't They know. want to cash in for Christmas, all those toys. Well, you look how well Force Awakens has done, and that was a December 18th uh, release date, and it's done 
pretty well. It's done okay, hasn't it, really? So I don't blame them putting them out uh, December 15th. Uh, maybe you're right. Toys, mer merchandise, merchandise. Uh, ahead of Christmas, maybe that's, that's why. So disappointment we're not going to get in during the summer. It's not going to be a summer blockbuster. It's going to be another Christmas blockbuster. But uh, there's still plenty to keep us going uh, with Rogue Squadron coming out this year. And go and see Star Wars Force Awakens again. I've only seen it three times. I'm thinking about a fourth. Maybe while I'm coming back from holiday. That might be an idea. Uh, something out in the cinema right at the moment, though, is uh, an Oscar-nominated film. It's called Room, and uh, it's directed by Lenny Abramson, and uh, you've been to see it. Yeah, I went to see it on Tuesday. It's possibly one of the greatest films I've seen in, in a good long while. Really? Why? Yeah. Um, it just... It's about a mother and a son trapped in a, a room. OK. And it's seen through his eyes, okay. the son, a son who's five years old, and um, it's just great because such a harrowing circumstance being seen through a five-year-old can be so, it can twist it and it can be a bit more uplifting in how you look at life. And when the son is going to escape, or he doesn't, spoilers, Yeah. I've never had such a physical response to a film. My heart was going so fast. You just, it's, it's so effective. You believe their story completely. It's off of a famous book as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and uh, I think there's a lot of people are saying, don't even bother watching the trailer. Because mm. it, not that it gives much away about the film, but you, you almost want to go into the film not knowing anything about it. Because I think there's a lot of people saying, oh, it's like, oh, it's just Joseph Fritzl. Uh, but it, even though it's about uh, a mother and a, a, and a son in a room, mm. it's not exactly like the Joseph Fritzl story. It's something slightly yeah. different to that. If you know, going into it cold and then watching it in the end, I didn't feel at a loss not reading the book. Whereas some films, if I haven't read the book, I've also I thought, oh, I should have read the book first. Yeah, I really wouldn't want to see it. Room, it's out in cinemas at the moment, directed by Lenny Abramson, and it's been Oscar nominated uh, for Brie Larson, who plays the uh, the main character, and for the director as well. Uh, so it sounds like it's uh, definitely one to watch and best film of the year. Yeah, so, so far, so far. Yeah, so far. So far. It's only been three weeks. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look at what films are coming up on the TV uh, this weekend. Uh, there's a fair few, actually, this mm. weekend, but I'm going to pick one for you, and I'm going uh, back in time to my youth. To my youth. Uh, I'm going to Sunday, Channel 5, at 5 past 3, Space Camp, from 1986. I love this film. It's a bit cheesy and a bit rubbish, but... So am I, really. So uh, it, 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 is, it ticks all my boxes. It had Lee Thompson in, which was uh, who I was in love with during the 80s. She was in Back to the Future as Marty's mum. Um, it's got a very, very young Joaquin Phoenix. Um, Leaf. Still called Leaf at that point. Um, but it's, it's brilliant. It's just about these group of kids that go to space camp. Uh, they end up testing out a space shuttle. Uh, they won like a prize to test out a space shuttle, but then something goes wrong mm. and they have to launch the space shuttle. Mm. Oh, drama ensues. Uh, it's just great. It's, uh, as I say, cheesy and rubbish. It's got Mrs. Tron Travolta in it as well. Oh. Uh, yes, uh, what's her name? Kelly, Kelly Preston. And Tate Donovan as well. So. Uh, for a few others. So, look, it's a, it's a great Hercules. film. Hercules. Exactly, exactly right. Uh, so, yeah, that's five past three, Sunday afternoon, perfect family Sunday afternoon film uh, uh, from 1986 on Channel 5. What are you going for, Kat? I'll go for a weepy one. Oh, God. On Saturday, BBC Two, 7.20, War Horse. Oh, my word, I cried so much in that film. I still haven't seen it. I know the storyline, I've seen it on the yeah. stage, and it was amazing, so I'd love to see the film. The trailer made me blub. I got emotional just watching the trailer, uh, but it is, it's great, it's got a great cast in it, it's a lovely story, directed by Steven Spielberg, it looks beautiful, um, and it is a great, great story, and a great film. I think you'll enjoy the film version of it. Good. When's that on? 7.20 on BBC Two. 7.20 Saturday, BBC yeah. Two, brilliant stuff. That's it, that's all we've got time for for the movie show uh, for this week. Hope you join us again next week, or John and Kat next week. Ha-ha, I'm off on holiday. I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. It's goodbye from me, goodbye from her.